Howdy folks, Corky Duke here. Bomber Crew is the game and Playboy Rules is the name of this bomber. Now this is the 30th mission of Playboy Rules and we got some good news. Two of the crew members are going to go home. This is their 25th and final mission. According, you know, if they survive, Samantha Torres, the radio operator, Staff Sergeant Samantha Torres, and Staff Sergeant Cheryl Bachman, the tail gunner. If they survive this mission, they'll be sent home for flying their 25 required missions. So let's head to the briefing and may luck shine upon them. Or whatever else. I mean, you know, they already got great luck. So, okay, we're going to pick Croton here. Ladies, the target for today is Croton. We're going to knock this tank factory into smithereens. Get, oh, perfect. We'll use the enemy armor down on this mission, the last one. And we'll get two more. And we'll have enemy damage now for the next two. So this works out good. All right, here we go. These two girls, I'm sure, are excited. I know I am. This is two more girls that are being sent home. Hopefully, like I said, they should be able to handle this mission no problem. So this is a, not a fairly easy... Well, at this point in the campaign, with the strengths that this bomber has, it's a fairly easy mission. Then again, you never know. Something could go wrong. But let's take positive thoughts. Everybody, bring me those positive vibes. So these girls need it. Realistically, about one in three of all crewmen in the 8th Air Force flew 25 missions. That's lousy numbers. So... In case you were wondering, I'm not a... Well, actually, I'm great at math. Unless I have to add, subtract, multiply, or divide, then I totally suck at it. But anyway, math is not my strong subject, i got to tell you. History is. Ask anybody who knows me. I'm definitely a history buff. So we'll get Marber Moore, Lieutenant Moore, over on the other side. Oh, excuse me. And we'll just wait until they get close enough. And they're close enough. Oh, Lieutenant Moore got that one. She got both of them. Outstanding, Lieutenant. That's one hot blind, I gotta tell you. Okay. The 90s was the absolute best decade for Playboy ever. If you disagree with me, you disagree with me. I mean, you know, that's fine. You know, hey, I'm not right about everything. But in my opinion, the 90s is the best decade ever about, uh, with Playboys and Playboy Buddies. So, all my favorite, well, not all of them, but most of my favorite Playmates are from the 90s. I love listening to those girls chat. It's great. That's the intercom inside the bomber. That's how they communicate it. Just to be safe, on the safe side, we're gonna lean out some fuel. I'm sure we won't need it, but Angela Molina, Master Sergeant Angela Molina, will take care of the fuel situation on board the plane. And now we got fighters. The gunners will take care of the fighters on board. And the fighters coming at us. I got Susie Simpson looking it out too. Beautiful. Marina got one. Marina Corwin, the ball turret got one. Excellent shooting, girls. As always. Now, how close are we? We're getting close. We're getting close. And the toe of Italy is where our target is. It's always good too if we get a fuel leak, which we shouldn't. We have so same fuel tanks, but. I discovered they don't seem to always work. I don't know if it's the size of the hole that gets put in the fuel tank or what. Anyway. Mm. 
Well, these guys want to be different from the other side. Sending down from the clouds. I wonder if the fighters can see us in these clouds. Oh! We lost number three engine. Totally lost it. Well, that sucks. Shot right out. What is up with that? That, by the way, since the top turret gunner was busy firing, I had the backup engineer. Tanya Byer come up and repair it. So that's a tactic you might want to look at. That. I should have flown a little bit better through the middle of that. We could have flown right through the middle of it, not even hit, had any flak at us at all. Not have any flak hit us. I think Barbara's already on that side. She sure is. I'm going to call in for some fighter support. There she is. That's our target. We're missing the bomb on. Angela Molina got one, Master Sergeant. Excellent. Bombe doors here pretty soon. And it's a good time now. Oh, that one hurt. Bombs away. Friendly fighters are nearby. I can hear them buzzing around. Take a picture of this thing, get to high altitude, and get out of here. Smile, boy. You're on B-17's Playboy candid camera. Yeah, that's what I like. I'd like to be on that. Anyway, here we go. We're going to head to high altitude and we're going to get out of here. Leave our fighter covers, leave our fighter cover to cover our withdrawal. Well, not really withdrawal, we just have home. We hit our target. Can't be really considered a withdrawal because we hit our target, now we're going home. It's not a withdrawal. It's going home after we hit our target. So, so far, uh, Samantha and Cheryl have made it halfway to the target. Now, if we can get them home alive, that'd be great. It should be no problem. But look at that, number three engine just got shot the hell off. Like nobody's business. How's that doing our fuel? Does that make us use up more fuel? Yeah, look at that. Alrighty, we're still climbing. We ain't to our ceiling yet. So we're gonna have to keep leaning out that fuel. Apparently that missing engine is gonna create drag. Which I can understand why it will. Big hole in the wing like that. Not aerodynamic at all. I didn't think they had any time to put any drywall over it either. Get Barbara to the right starboard sheet or the right starboard sheet. Starboard sheet. God. Yeah, these might be JU 88s. I don't know what they're going to be. They're at our level. We're up high. Whoa. 
What were they? Couldn't, couldn't get a. It could have been two sixty twos. I don't think they were comments. They weren't going in fast enough. But they could have been two sixty twos of JU eighty eight. So I, I I couldn't ID them before they blew up. So, but that was good that they blew up so quickly. Didn't put any more damage on that plane. Specifically, our landing gear. So we don't want to lose our landing gear. We lost that too many times. Not necessarily in this campaign, but just in general. Every time I see, play this game, I seem to lose my landing gear. The 25th mission. Well, the whole campaign of Piano Man, which uh, featured Billy Joel as a pilot and his band as the crew, uh, did fine on their landing gear until the very last mission. And they lost their, I can't remember which side landing gear they lost, but uh, their last mission, they had to bail them out over uh, the base, and then Billy landed the bomb. And then they went home. That was a 25th mission. That was a final mission. Would have been... Surely would have been sad to see Billy crash and, and get killed in the crash, but thankfully it didn't happen. So. Tennessee Titan campaign. Oh, man, I probably lost landing gear close to 10 times total. We've flown like 52, 50, or 53 missions. We actually crashed a couple of missions ago because we lost our landing gear and had to get a new bomb and call the Tennessee Titan 2. So, yeah, losing my landing gear seems to be a problem, but I guess maybe it's just with me, I don't know. Beautiful. Get him, girls. Uh, Looked like a JU-88 to me. Boy, he landed hard. Wouldn't want, want to be in that plane, uh huh? I think I'd be safe in this bomb with these girls. Veteran crew, they're all awesome gunners. They can shoot. Clean up that fuel, yep. We're running low, we're getting low fuel warnings. We should have enough to make it home, though. Oh, Mustang's in. We're gonna leave her in the driver's seat here, Angela. Master Sergeant Molina. She's the most senior enlisted person on board. Historically, the B-17 had four officers and uh, six in, uh, enlisted men. This is missing a co-pilot, so it would be three officers and six enlisted men. These guys could be trouble, I don't know. They start opening up on us. Uh, little, little friends are going after us. No, they're not going to be that much trouble. Beautiful. Our landing gear is wonderfully intact, so we'll be able to land. Oh, look at that. We're almost home, so we can start coming down now. And that's it. We're low on fuel. We got plenty of fuel left. We got plenty of fuel to land. Probably got one more lean in it. I just did a lean. We probably got at least one more. And we're definitely within 13 minutes of fuel. So we're good to be gonna be good to go. So that's it for Staff Sergeant Samantha Torres and Staff Sergeant Cheryl Bachman. They have successfully flown 25 missions. And they will be sent home. I've already got the two playmates to replace them. There it is. There's the runway. We tag it and we land. Alrighty then. Three minutes of fuel. Four. Five. Okay, six. That's a little bit better. Hopefully I can get one more lean in. 
because we could really use the fuel. Nine minutes? Yeah, we're good to go. Jenny seems to be okay. Jenny's starting to turn into the final approach now, so that's by Jenny. Alrighty, yep, we are definitely good to go. Over the landing gear. And that's it. Woohoo! Alright, girls, congratulations. Woo! 25 missions. Cheryl Bachman and Samantha Torres. This is Bomber Bear wishing you two girls congratulations. Good luck on the rest of your life. And have a safe, wonderful trip home. And uh, support the war effort, you know? We need the war effort. But Bomber Bear is saying goodbye, good luck, and we're going to miss you. You girls take care. You did a great job. Did everything Uncle Sam asked you to do. And uh, you're going to be rewarded as veterans later in life. You get to sit in an old folks' home and tell them stories about your bombing missions. Yeah, that'll be cool, huh? Well, anyway, they'll look up at you and say, Grandma, did you really fly missions in World War II? Yes, I did. So, so that's it. Samantha Torres and Cheryl Bachman going home. So, uh, not much left to say. Congratulations, girls. Fantastic job you did. And uh, I'm Corky Duke. CorkyDuke.com is my website. Uh, that was the 30th mission of Playboy Rules. And we're going to replace those two. We're going to replace Cheryl and uh, Samantha with some more playmates. And uh, the rest of the girls have now flown 14 missions. So they'll be, uh, they'll be, they're about a little over halfway through their campaign too. And they'll be sent home after 25 missions as well. Providing they spot. Anyway. But uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.